Zambia's South Luangwa National Park is a 3,490 square mile haven for wildlife. It harbours some of Africa's most threatened species and some of its most iconic. But outside the park, where wildlife and people live side by side, conflict can occur, especially with elephants. These majestic giants leave the parks at night to raid farmers' fields and crops, and it's a recipe for serious trouble. One organisation has dedicated itself to resolving this human-wildlife conflict. The Biome Project met Ruth Chitindi, part of Conservation South Luangwa's community programme, which deals with human-wildlife conflict. So there are four types of conflict which we assess. There's crop damage, property damage, human angel and death, and livestock predation. So uh, once they assess, they'll bring the smart devices, that's the cyber trackers, then I download and we do core reports at the end of the month. There are a few mitigation methods which we are implementing in the villages. The first one is uh, uh, chili bombing. So with the chili bombing, we do use the chili um, by making the chili oil. So the chili oil, we first crush chili and soak in petrol for four to five days. Thereafter, we filter and add the cooking oil. The reason we add cooking oil is to make sure that uh, this uh, liquid stays at the bottom of the elephant for some time. Unlike when it's uh, only uh, petrol, it's easy to evaporate in a few minutes. So the liquid is thereafter put in ping pong balls using the syringe and the needle. So it's really helping because we do tell the people to target the bottom of the elephant for the impact to be there because when they haven't targeted or maybe it hasn't hit any hard surface, this ping pong ball it will be intact and the liquid won't come out. So this chili patroller has to hit the body of the elephant, so the itching, the heating, the sound of the gun will scare the elephant away from the field. In fact, chilies are at the centre of making sure elephants and people can live side by side. Conservation South Luangwa are supporting local farmers, helping them switch from other crops to planting chilies. Elephants hate chilies and will even avoid walking through a field planted with them, whilst the locals are provided with an effective crop to take to market. But it's not just chilies that CSL are using to deter these crop raiding elephants. Solar fences, it works with the solar and the solar panels which we insert in somebody's house. So solar panel, they are set on, on the top of the roof of the house. Then there's a regulator, energizer, and a battery. Then we do use poly wire. That's the wire which goes around, of which um, elephant, uh, when they touch them, they get that um, shock as electricity. So they don't like that sparkling. Then they will stay away from the field or rather the village. And there are low-tech solutions as well such as building elephant-proof granaries, kept well away from the house, so that elephants aren't tempted towards the homes by the smell of food. And all this is necessary because of the location of these communities. We are living in a GMWE. Uh, GMWE, that's game management area, where animals and people are freely to live. So um, the people has just to understand that they are in the area where animals also have freedom. So we do understand that we're in a gym where there's nothing we can do. That's why uh, our mitigation methods, we do teach people because people are teachable and they can learn and like the animals. In a complex and ever-changing landscape, the work of Conservation South Luangwa and its community program are vital to ensuring that both people and animals can live side by side.